Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Marvel vs. Street Fighter 2 video. Because we can't have the same company making the same figures these days, you kind of have to DIY it yourself, and we're going to have some fun at doing it. Now, first and foremost, we have the, and I'll say this in quotes, new... The Amazing Spider-Man first appearance figure. This is a Target store exclusive on a retro card back. He features web wings. More on that later. But he does come with a bunch of extra hands, including a pair I've been asking for. On the back side, you get a little bit of a write-up and a picture of uh, kind of what they're going for. Here's the barcode for this figure. Mine came in from Target.com. But if you're lucky enough, you should find this guy next to the re-release of the Moon Knight, also on Retro Card Release. Now, this is very exciting. I want to say thank you to my friends over at Jada Toys. They sent over their new Chun-Li figure from the Street Fighter II Ultra, the Final Challengers line. Very cool. Took a look at the first two figures. Now we got old Chun-Li, and I absolutely love the packaging because it's an old arcade system. And on the back side, you get to see also available, which is very cool. I highly recommend these figures. They're a lot of fun. So I'm excited to check out Chun-Li, along with a ton of other characters, which I'm assuming are coming. They did have some on display at San Diego Comic-Con, so those should be in for 2024. Here's the barcode for Chun-Li. While you're out looking for the Spider-Man, you can find her hitting Target store shelves now, or I'll have links down in the description below. You can order off Amazon, yada, yada. But in either case, this is going to be an absolute hopeful blast. <laughs> Sit back, relax. Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the new Hasbro Target exclusive, The Amazing Spider-Man versus, versus Jada Toys Street Fighter 2 Ultra Chun-Li. All right, so we'll kick things off with newcomer Chun-Li. And what I like about the Jada Toys Street Fighter line is that you get really nice looking figures along with a ton of accessories, very fitting for these characters. And I like these flesh-colored hands. There's no extra paint on them, but they do work for the character, along with the extra head portrait, where this works nicely because you have the more screaming head and then you have a solemn head. But the paint is nice, especially on her hair buns, little dangly bits. But the paint is well executed here, and I like the overall expression. Now, one downside to this head portrait is that it's very... Funko bobblehead loose on the peg for whatever reason so you have that to deal with but you do get the solemn head as well which that too looks nice and that has no problem fitting on the peg it's not bobbleheady at all now with the effect pieces which again I totally appreciate you have this three hit combo along with a stand and I'll tell you right now these are two separate pieces and once I stuck it in there it just didn't want to come out again so there you go. It's in there, but they do come as two separate pieces, and you can yank it out if you want, but you get the idea. It's a force effect on a stand, along with the platform, and that simply fits into that, just like so. And there you go. You have a really nice tri-combo effect piece. Uh, you can move it every which way because it has multiple segmented pieces. It's nicely done. Totally appreciate that. Now, what's really cool is, of course, the posing and the photos you can take, which basically just allows you to pose Chun-Li like she's given the old walloping to any opponent, and I totally appreciate that. Plus, it helps her stand really nicely when doing the high kicks. Now, with the figure itself, much like Wave 1, it's a really nice-looking figure. You got peg holes on the bottom, very minimal paint goofs, if, if any, right? Which is always nice to see. But the yellows, the blues, like I said, the little paint dabs on the tassel -y things in her hair, everything looks pretty clean. She does have a little blemish right there on her forehead. You can barely see it, but once you see it, it's, it's there. And like I said, this head portrait gives you no problem. She also has some neck articulation so that you can have her looking down, looking all the way up. So it's just an added bonus. The arms will go all the way up if you so choose. No problems whatsoever. Didn't have to heat up anything on this figure. She's got some bicep swivel. She has some double jointed elbows. She's got some hot topic spike bracelets, which you can pop on and off at your leisure. And she's got plenty of the wrist articulation. It's nice to see. One heck of an ab crunch, too. I totally dig that. You get some waist spin. It goes back. It goes up. And not to be weird or gross, but I like that they added the paint of more of her costume. They didn't have to paint that on the underside, 
but they totally did. And you got the legs, she can do the splits, she can kick out, she's got some thigh swivel, double jointed knees. And like I said, there's a couple blemishes here and there, but nothing too crazy. And then she's got some foot articulation, up, down, rocker. You get the idea. So you can have a lot of battles on your shelf with the appropriate amount of character articulation. And she does scale well with the former Wave 1's Ryu and Fei Long. So I definitely appreciate that. And I like just stylistically, they all form fit together. So I'm excited to see new upcoming Street Fighter 2 figures. Now, again... With the force effect pieces, that just looks cool when you want to pose them out. You can do some Hadoukens on one side. You can do some Tri-Hits on the other. And, of course, you can send old Ryu a flying out the door. Pretty cool, right? Oh, wait. We have a, a new player approaching here. So I guess we have to press start because Spider-Man makes his... Second Marvel Legends debut at this point for this type of figure. Now, he does come with this just terrible web effect. <laughs> and I feel like I've been saying this for nearly five years now. We need some new web effect for old Spider-Man. This doesn't fit. Let's see some ones that clip onto his wrist. That would be awesome. Even sculpt the hands so it just looks like he's shooting at webs. I wouldn't mind that at all. Because this, I mean, you can have him swing it in. But it's just kind of goofball at this point. And the whole webbing effect, if you wanted to put it like he's swipping out a web, yeah, it just doesn't work. Get rid of these. <laughs> he does have some wall crawling hands, got some punching hands, which are nice to see. But my favorite, and I requested these, so I'm totally taking credit for this, he has item holding hands, finally. That's what I want to see in a Spider-Man. Those take me back to my Toy Biz days. It's nicely... Done. Thank you for doing that, even though it looks like you can see the fingernails in that. But I love this for the sheer reason that Spider-Man can now enact his revenge on the Sinister Six or any of the villains in just murderous fashion. But the Web Wings. Well, ever since that first release, yeah, they're still terrible. The webbing is just not good. The Web Wings are just not good. I get it if you want to pose them out. I suppose that looks okay but not really i mean in all honesty it just doesn't work it just looks bad especially when you want to fold up the arms you have to move them every single time so if you wanted to do that then it's sticking out the back and then they fall off and you get the idea now he does come with the alternate folded down web wings so like i just said if you want to put the arms down you can still see them it doesn't work well it just doesn't work i think that it just looks terrible and it doesn't do the figure any favors because i do think that the colors the look the body type for this spider-man work really well when it comes to the web wings it really downgrades this figure because it just doesn't look good it looked like an afterthought truth be told i wish there was a way to put some sort of webbing netting within the actual plastic itself with a little bit of give in the back so you could move the arms around much like the old toy biz one we'll say but in terms of the actual spider-man figure i think that this is really a nice looking action figure minus the webbing minus the web wings the articulation is really nice the coloring is nice he has a more charcoal black color than a straight black which is very reminiscent of the first appearance spider-man along with this blue spider logo on the back which for a couple panels in his first appearance and whatnot it was blue and then they quickly changed it to red so if you want that more deep cut look this is really what this figure is otherwise if you have the original release you're really not going to see anything new here except for that blue spider. I'm more on the side where I like the more printed web design as opposed to the sculpted one. I think that that looks a whole heck of a lot better. And as you can see the difference between the two, you have the red and the blue, so it's just that. And if you wanted to see a comparison with some of the more recent Spider-Man, you have the first, first appearance Spider-Man, and then the Spider-Man that came with the Mary Jane 2-pack. And what I really like about this, though, is that the Street Fighter 2 line goes really well with Marvel Legends. They scale together nicely, and that's just a fun nod to my childhood playing these games with Chun-Li versus Spider-Man, with Ryu and Wolverine in the back. It's a lot of fun. I totally dig this. Very Marvel versus Capcom, Marvel versus Street Fighter. You get the idea so that you can lay the walloping on the old wall crawler, and that just looks fantastic. That's a lot of fun with Wolverine going, ha, got him. So, 
That will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Target exclusive, the first appearance blue variants from Marvel Legends by Hasbro, and then the Jada Toys Chun-Li from their Street Fighter II Ultra line. And thank you again, my friends over at Jada, for setting this out for the purposes of this video. You have two good action figures, Chun-Li being the more complete overall from the accessories to the articulation of the paint, whereas Spider-Man, the figure itself with the hands, A-OK, -okay, but any of the web effects, just leave them at the door. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel, Marvel versus, versus Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, and if you like this style of video, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll have some more Marvel vs. Street Fighter 2 vids coming soon. And when I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.